managing diabetes isn't a piece of cake. In fact, deciding which foods to consume or not to consume can make your head spin. And perhaps the most popular and confusing food out there is peanut butter. It's full of fat, so does that mean it's dangerous to your heart? But it's also loaded with protein, which can help to lower glucose levels. So what's the truth? Is peanut butter actually a diabetic-friendly food? Or is that just a nutty fantasy? I'm Judd Resnick, director of That Diabetes Documentary, and I've been wondering about the health benefits and health risks of the world's most consumed nut. After all, like many people, I've loved peanuts and peanut butter ever since I was a kid. But has it secretly been damaging my arteries and my glucose control? I've dug into the latest research and found some surprising results. If you find our deep dives into nutrition beneficial for your blood sugar, please help us out by liking and subscribing. We truly appreciate it. Now, it's time to answer the question, is peanut butter harmful or healthy for diabetics? First, we should simply get a clear understanding of what peanut butter actually is. It's not butter, in the traditional sense. Natural peanut butter contains only one ingredient. Obviously, it's peanuts. Typically, peanuts are roasted first and then ground into a thick paste. And this classic process is nothing new. In fact, historians have found that ancient Aztecs and Incas were fans of peanut butter. Of course, modern peanut butter is a bit different. And as it turns out, there is a vast nutritional difference between organic, unprocessed peanut butter and mass-produced, highly processed, brand-name peanut butter products. But what's inside those popular peanut butters that makes them so different and possibly so much more harmful to your overall health? I'll break down the additions that food corporations pump into their peanut butters later in this video. But first, let's take a look at what you'll find inside organic peanut butter. A typical 100 gram serving of organic peanut butter can supply 22 grams of carbohydrates, but that's not necessarily a deal breaker for your blood sugar. That's because five of those grams are in the form of digestion slowing, glucose stabilizing dietary fiber. That means natural peanut butters are classified as low glycemic index. So eating a typical serving of peanut butter should not spike your blood sugar. In fact, there have been some shocking findings from recent studies regarding peanut butter consumption and type 2 diabetes. And I'll tell you all about those results at the end of this video. A serving of peanut butter also gives you about 22 grams of protein, an essential macronutrient that helps you build muscle. Quality sources of protein also help you increase your insulin sensitivity. Plus, protein helps to slow digestion while increasing feelings of fullness. This can help you avoid overeating, thus aiding weight management. And now, here's what's mainly found within organic peanut butter. And yes, it's fat. In fact, out of that 100 gram serving, 51 grams are pure fat. That means just two tablespoons could give you about a quarter of your daily recommended intake of fat. And a single serving of peanut butter could add up to nearly 600 calories. But this high fat content can actually be very beneficial to your blood sugar control and your heart health. How is that possible? Well, organic peanut butter is mostly comprised of heart healthy, monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. In fact, over 50% of its fat is in the form of oleic acid, a powerful monounsaturated fat that is highly touted for its cardiovascular aiding properties. This is the very same type of fatty acid found within other renowned healthy fat foods, including olive oil and avocados. Studies show that regularly consuming oleic acid can work to improve your lipid profile by lowering levels of artery-clogging LDL cholesterol without negatively affecting levels of artery-cleansing HDL cholesterol. Oleic acid has also been found to improve the health of your endothelium, or the inner lining of your blood vessels. 
By aiding the elasticity of your blood vessel walls, oleic acid can help reduce your blood pressure, regulate your blood clotting, and even benefit your immunity. Plus, studies show that oleic acid provides anti-inflammatory effects, which can further help to lower your risk of heart disease. But peanuts and peanut butter aren't just about their calories, protein, carbohydrates, and fats. They are also a great source of antioxidants. Peanut butter gives you modest amounts of P. cumaric acid, which supplies anti-inflammatory benefits, and resveratrol, which may lower the risk of heart disease. Unprocessed organic peanut butter can also give you a wealth of other beneficial antioxidant micronutrients, including vitamins B3, B6, and B9, vitamin E, copper, magnesium, and manganese. In fact, a serving of peanut butter can go a very long way towards getting your body where it needs to be with these essential nutrients. 100 grams of organic peanut butter gives you almost 20% of the recommended daily intake for vitamin B9, also known as folate, nearly 30% of the RDI for vitamin B6, aka peridoxine, over 35% of the RDI for magnesium, over 55% of the RDI for copper, 60% of the RDI for vitamin E, 65% of the RDI for manganese, and approximately 85% of the RDI for vitamin B3, aka niacin. Niacin has been shown to increase heart-helping HDL cholesterol levels while also reducing damaging LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels. It may also work to lower blood pressure. Manganese and its antioxidant properties have been found to fight free radical damage, which can help to lower the risk of heart disease and some forms of cancer. Vitamin E helps ward off cancerous oxidative stress, and studies show that vitamin E supplementation can also reduce the risk of heart disease. Copper is integral to the production of your red blood cells and may also aid heart rate and blood pressure regulation. Peridoxine aids brain function and may reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Studies have also found that having low blood levels of this vitamin can double your risk of developing heart disease. Folate is highly regarded for its ability to reduce the risk of several types of cancer. It also works to break down and remove homocysteine, an amino acid which can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. And magnesium is involved in a vast number of biochemical reactions inside your body, including nervous system regulation. Some studies also suggest that it may help lower high blood pressure and other heart disease risk factors. Plus, research has found that consuming more magnesium may work to lower your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. A study in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences even showed that magnesium supplements helped participants at risk for type 2 diabetes improve their fasting blood sugar levels and long-term insulin sensitivity. What do other studies show about how peanut butter may affect your diabetes management? That's just ahead. But are there any health risks to consuming peanut butter? The answer, frankly, is yes. But don't worry, I'm not talking about organic peanut butter, which, when eaten in moderation, can be beneficial to your overall health. However, those mass-produced, food corporation-created, highly processed peanut butters are a different story entirely. Why? First, it's important to understand that even the peanuts within processed peanut butters are usually more dangerous to your health than the peanuts used in organic peanut butters. Oftentimes, food corporation peanut butters utilize cheaply grown peanuts, where farmers employ a host of synthetic pesticides, herbicides, or fertilizers in order to lengthen the growing season and to keep insects from eating their crops. These chemicals may be good for the growers, but they have been found to transfer potentially toxic chemical residues to some brands of peanuts, peanut oils, and peanut butters. Certain pesticides and herbicides have been linked to an increased risk of developing a peanut allergy, 
some forms of cancer, and even infertility. Okay, so that's just the peanut part of processed peanut butters. What other harmful elements could be lurking within your favorite PB brand? To put it bluntly, sugar. Lots and lots of added sugars. While that heightens their addictive flavor, it also increases their carbohydrate and calorie content. Plus, processed peanut butters are typically loaded with other flavor enhancers, usually in the form of extra sodium content. Regularly consuming high amounts of salt can further increase your risk of heart disease. Food corporations also attempt to make their products more pleasing to the eye by adding unhealthy emulsifiers and coloring agents. Meanwhile, many popular brand name peanut butters also take their fat content to new, unhealthy heights. That's because they tend to contain added oils, including palm oil and other potentially detrimental vegetable oils. You can tell when processed oils have been added to peanut butter as they stay locked within the peanut butter and make the spread creamy in texture. Natural oils from organic peanut butter become separated in the jar. That's why you'll typically find a layer of pure oil sitting on top of the actual peanut butter spread in organic, untreated varieties. But while palm oil and other processed oils may make your peanut butter more attractive to your eyes, they can turn quite ugly inside your body. Palm oil has been found to increase the artery-clogging saturated fat content of your peanut butter, potentially raising your risk of heart disease, compared to organic peanut butters with higher unsaturated fat content. Some mass-produced brands of peanut butter may also contain partially hydrogenated oils, which will give you artificial trans fat content these oils are used by food corporations because they are inexpensive and they allow their products to have a lengthened shelf life. But trans fats are very troublesome to the human body. In fact, according to the Mayo Clinic, trans fatty acids are the worst type of fat to consume. They have been found to increase artery damaging LDL cholesterol while decreasing heart helping HDL cholesterol levels. Studies show that regularly eating trans fats increases the risk of heart disease. And the more trans fats you eat, the greater your risk will be. Trans fats are so dangerous that the US Food and Drug Administration has now prohibited food manufacturers from including them in their products. However, even after this ban, food corporations are still legally allowed to sell products with trans fat content so long as they contain half a gram or less per serving. Still, you should check the nutrition label of your peanut butter before purchasing to ensure that it is free from trans fats. And at the end of the day, you will be making a better choice for your body if you choose organic peanut butter, which will be free from those added sugars, extra sodium, chemical preservatives, and extra saturated fat content. So, what do studies show regarding organic peanut butter and your blood sugar control? A meta-analysis published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that regularly eating organic peanut butter can actually lower your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. A study from the Journal of the American College of Nutrition revealed that eating peanuts or peanut butter can increase your satiety while reducing your total caloric intake over the course of your day. And results of a meta-analysis published by Frontiers in Nutrition suggests that peanut consumption can improve your blood lipid values and your triglyceride levels. So, if you have been wondering if peanut butter can actually be healthy for your diabetes management and heart health, the answer is yes. But research also tells us that, like all things in life, you can get too much of a good thing. So keep your portions in check. And also do your best to avoid heavily processed peanut butter brands. Instead, go for true organic, natural peanut butter. <laughs>